Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a post hoc test to the Bowker test using uh, Excel and this will be done by using a pairwise comparison, using a McNemer test and also a Bonferroni adjustment. Now for the example that I'll be using I have created a small little cross table up here where here we see after and before and perhaps people were asked what they thought of uh, three different brands or which one they preferred and then shown a commercial and then asked the same question again and then we can see for example that these five people originally preferred brand A but after seeing the commercials they went for brand C. Now I've shown in another video how to perform the Bauger test in itself that was up here uh, so watch out for that video and now we're going to pinpoint, try to pinpoint or see if we can even do that uh, using this pairwise comparison. The idea here is that we pick two brands each time, so brand A and brand B, brand A and brand C, brand B and brand C. Um, and then, uh, so if we pick brand A and B, then this is a little cross table of only those two. And then a chi-square value will be calculated by using B minus C, so this one minus that one, square the result, uh, and then divide by the addition of those two. And then you can use a chi-square approximation of that uh, with a degrees of freedom of 1. Now in Excel this becomes a little bit tedious, but it can actually be done. Note that we actually in this formula don't need A and D, but just for completion's sake I'll be using it. So let's begin. Um, the first thing is uh, I'm going to be comparing brand A and B and then equals index. And then I actually want to index uh, this cross table and then press F4 on the keyboard to put all the dollar signs in or just type them in manually, which means that if we start copy pasting this, it won't change. Then we want from this the match of um, because this is A of actually brand A and then we want this the column to be fixed and it needs to be looking that up in this uh, part of the cross table and it needs to be an exact match and then for the column it actually needs to do the same thing so the column is going to be again match and then in this case we want to match this value and again we're locking the column and it needs to be looked up in here uh, fixing that with all the dollar signs it should be an exact match and then we can finally close this one off so this should give us because this is brand A this 20 up here now if we copy paste this formula so simply control C control V for the B version and then press F2 on the keyboard um, the B one is again the brand A so the whole beginning part can stay the same but then for the um, for B we actually wanted to look it up in the second column so for the column one um, it shouldn't be looking up brand A but it should actually be looking up uh, brand B again press F4 for the dollar signs and then uh, the rest can stay the same so that should give us this 10 so press enter or control enter and indeed it gives the 10 copy paste again to the side now what we want is actually the reverse of this one we want this 3 so what we want to do is flip these two around so click on the corner or on the border of the cell and it should actually work then press Ctrl Enter and indeed we actually get this 3. Last but not least we do copy paste again and now for column uh, for the D value we simply want twice that one so now everything should be fine and that should give the 30. We can copy all of these down or use the O to fill handle and it does it for all comparisons. Then the chi-square value can now easily be done using that formula I had up here and that's going to be equals open parentheses and then it's B minus C or C minus B that doesn't matter because we're actually going to be squaring these results and then divide by the addition of those two this one plus this one then for the significance we can use various functions in Excel the oldest one would have been chi-dist 
and then simply the chi-square value and it will have a degrees of freedom of 1. And we can copy paste this down. Now because we're doing three tests actually um, we might want to adjust for this multiple testing using a pair uh, using a Bonferroni adjustment which needs to know how many tests we're doing. That can be done by using the function combine which is actually for combinations, sorry. Um, we want to have, we have three categories to choose from and we want to choose two each time so that gives a grand total of three and actually that's these three. So the adjusted significance is then simply um, this value multiplied by the number of pairs that we have, f4. However, that might exceed then one and a significance can never be bigger than one so what we do is if and then if this is bigger than one then it should simply say 1 and otherwise uh, my system is using semicolon by the way if you have noticed already uh, yours might be using a regular comma but otherwise simply do that calculation and now I can copy paste and this down now some say that if uh, the sum of these two is actually below 20 or 25 you it's better to use an exact uh, test which would be the binomial test in this case and the binomial test is then the minimum of these two uh, and we can actually do that equals binom uh, dist and then take the minimum of these two that makes life slightly easier um, then uh, the number of trials is actually the sum of them so um, that would be this one plus that one or you can use the sum function and um, then it requires the probability of success which will be 0.5 because we're assuming 50-50 and then use cumulative is true hit enter and that gives you the significance, the exact one the formulas are always each time here below as you can see uh, note that we need to multiply this by 2 because it's one tailed otherwise um, and then we can again paste this down and again because we're doing multiple testing we can copy this one up here so that we again check if it doesn't exceed one and then we can use the autofill handle to actually go down and then we have the adjusted significance using the exact test and uh, that's how a pairwise McNemer test can be done as a postdoc test to the Bauker test using Excel okay um, and uh, as you can see none of them are really significant uh, also not if we use the approximate one so although the Bauker test in itself was significant we cannot really pinpoint it to any of the two brands uh, mainly due to the multiple testing uh, the strongest candidate would be brand B versus brand C uh, no one had brand C um, uh, brand B versus brand C so we see a lot of people who switch from B to C uh, and not so many from B to C uh, sorry from C to B but okay um, that's it for now hope you uh, enjoyed the video